Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be looking at how to install uh, Wine on Debian 11 in 2023. Now you're probably wondering, well, why Debian 11? It's because this is the version of Debian that I have installed at the minute. Probably well, wondering, well, why? It's because it's a, it's a good little bit of software and also should probably be covered because not many people like to cover this sort of thing. But before we get into the video, I would like to thank my channel members, and those people are Mislav, Hopkins von Meritarius, The Storm with a Zero, Bedex, Von Garden, and Kingcrafter Oda de. Uh, I'm going to butcher the rest of your name. And I would also like to thank Ray from KT Texas once again for supporting me on buymeacoffee.com. So. Let's get into the video. Now, first things first, we're going to need to pick where we're installing Wine from and if we already have Wine installed. So first things first, we need to check. Do we have Wine installed? The answer is no, we don't have Wine installed. Now, for doing this, we have a few places we can choose where to install Wine from. Now, in my case, uh, there is a GitHub, specifically my GitHub that we can install wine from so wine stable uh, this is the list of install scripts that i have uh, this debian 12 and debian 11 uh, this one will install debian or wine 7 instead of wine 8 because i don't yet have a wine 8 version which is something that i should do or we can just go to winehq.org slash download and install wine through the instructions here now with this we got uh, options for FreeBSD, Slackware, SUS or SUSA, or however you choose to say it. I'm that's your choice. Uh, you could pay for a way of installing it, or you can do it yourself. Now, because we have a Debian, bearing in mind Debian and Ubuntu are literally one in the same, so which one you choose to install is up to you. But in this case, we have Trixie, uh, Bookworm, and Bullseye. Because I run Debian 11. Uh, it will be bullseye. Now we've got a choice. We can clone the repos. We can clone the repository by downloading it, which we've done here, or we can do it from the command line. Now, of course, we're going to be doing it from the command line uh, in this scenario. But uh, once again, if we just have a quick look at the fetch, what we can see here is we are running kernel five point one zero point zero. Uh, on Debian at uh, 64 bit. And I can tell you now, this is Debian, uh, Debian 11. So let's clear our screen and let's do CD desktop. We want to make directory wine. And we need to check to see if we have GitHub install or Git install, which we do. So CD wine. I want to clone the repository. Now we can do that with clone https colon slash slash github.com slash nick matthew slash one slash wine stable. Sorry, git clone. Now there isn't just a stable, there is also a few other versions of wine that I have. Uh, I also have wine bleeding edge and wine legacy. The wine legacy uh, is for older versions of wine that are no longer supported by uh, wine.org, winehq even. And there's also wine bleeding edge, which is the development and staging version, which are preparing for the installation. So we could also install them if we fancied. Now we can install more than one version of wine. It's just what the software you choose goes, goes for. So we're just going to stick with the stable versions for now because it's stable but i will demonstrate uh, the unstable versions so i'll clone that now so wine bleeding edge so we want to do we want to cd into the stable uh, i've got the name of my own stuff which is hilarious so cd wine stable and what we have here is the uh, what we have here is we have all the stable scripts and because we just want wine 
Wine Sebian Debian 11. Yes. Wine Sebian. Wine 7 Debian 11. What we need to do is do chmod, so change modification, change modifiers, plus x, which grants it the executable powers. W7, and then hit tab because that's the only Wine 7. This is the only W7. It's going to accept it. And we need to do sudo dot slash. The reason why we need sudo is because it's going to ask us to do a few things beforehand. So W7, hit enter, read it the password. And what this is now going to do is it's going to pull everything down and it's going to say, hey, look, uh, this needs to take up 195 kilobits. Can we have that? Yes, you can. And as I'm going to go through and do everything, I will will quickly show you what it actually does in the background. So you have the peace of mind of I'm not installing anything dodgy on your computer. Now you're probably wondering, why does it need 1.4 gigs worth of space? Uh, I am wondering that as well. It's, it's installing wine stable. So whilst that does that, we will go back to wine stable. And we will have a quick look here. Now, all this install script does is it enables the 32-bit architecture in the form of i386. It moves the downloads the repository key and moves it to the correct place. And it then gets the repository. Well, it makes the uh, directory for the repository key, grabs the repository key, gets the sources, uh, updates the system, upgrades your system, and then installs Wine version 7. You're probably wondering, why do you need to update and upgrade? Because we've now said, hey, look, I need a new source. You need to update the system as a matter of course. So if we do Wine hyphen version, we now have Wine. Thank you, Wine HQ. So this is what is here. And this is Bullseye. Now, if we look here, Bullseye is Debian 11. And what this is now doing is ignoring the fact that we are asking for Bullseye. So we, will, we now have Wine 8 installed. So that is a script that I now need to pull from there and go put that in the legacy uh, repository. So as we just learned, learn something new every day. But what we are going to do is now look at the bleeding edge versions because they are more up to date as it were. So we come to Wine HQ, we can see which versions we've got development, which is Wine 8.15. If we leave this directory and into Wine Bleeding Edge and have a look here, we have uh, Wine 8 Debian 12 development. Now, again, this is the wrong version. However, we can make a quick change. So what we're going to do is we're going to nano into W8D12. Uh, devil and make sure this pulls down the correct one so we want to change bookworm for uh, we would like to change bookworm for bullseye so again so, so it's just bullseye going to bullseye Bullseye wine HQ bullseye dot sources. And what we want to do now is chmod plus x. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, that. Dot slash w8d12 devil. Again, sorry about that. Sorry, Poppet, for waking you up. My dog's asleep on my bed. I. Sorry for waking you up, sweetheart. She's a good girl. Now, what we want to do is we want to do sudo dot slash w8d and then hit tab because that's the only executable file. It automatically recognizes that. We hit enter. And what this will do, as you've seen, it'll then pull down and grab what it needs to grab. So in this case, this is getting uh, lib ps pcs uh, c light one i386 wine development development 64 bit i uh, 32 bit and hq dev l so it's yes and what this will do is it'll then grab everything it needs to grab this is working correctly because we've said bullseye uh, if we then said bookworm it might not have worked 
because it, it is actually smart enough to go, hey, look, wrong version, not going to do it. But in this case, it is working as intended. And this is taking as long as it needs to take. And as we can see here, it's done. So we do version. We have Wine version 8.15 as the latest version installed. We do still have Wine 8 installed, or 8.0.2 installed. It's just this is the latest version. I don't know why, why Wine does that. Anyway, I would like to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you disliked the video, hit the dislike button. They both seem to work. Anyway, remember, when you use Linux, don't panic. And I hope you have a good day, good evening, good night, good whatever it is, wherever you are. Goodbye.